guys, this is Ryan with another tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about how to recover your Apple ID without your email or uh, security questions. So what we're going to be doing today is on a Mac, um, essentially kind of going through the recovery process for your Apple ID if you've forgotten your email um, associated with your account. Um, and once we get past finding your email, we're going to actually go into the verification process um, of recovering your Apple ID, which is going to be a multi-day process, but we'll get there and I'll show you how to do that. So on your MacBook, you're going to want to type in system preferences and then click sign in where it says sign into your Apple ID on the very top of system preferences. So I'm going to click sign in and here's your login. So it says Apple ID and what your Apple ID is, is once again, it's your email associated with your Apple ID account. Now say you forgot this. Okay. Um, that's totally fine. It's your email. Click forgot Apple ID or password. It's going to bring up another window here. Now it says app enter your Apple ID to continue. Once again, I don't remember my email. Um, what do I do here? Well, just go right below this little text box and says, forgot your Apple ID. So click on that and it's going to bring you up here. So what you're going to want to do is just attempt to type in, um, specifically, you're going to punch in your first name. So I'm going to punch in Ryan, my last name, which I'll punch in in a second, and then your email address. So what you're going to do is punch in all this information and you're going to attempt to try type out different email addresses that might be associated with your account. Now, if you've created one before, you can type in a bunch of different email addresses. And eventually what Apple's going to do is say, yes, this is your account or no, this is not your account. Now, if you have tried this already and you have punched in, uh, you know, say all of your email addresses that you can remember, and yet it's not getting you to the next step, what you're actually going to need to do is call Apple directly because Apple has a security lock um, past this point. So in order to recover your email um, or recover your Apple ID in general, you do need to be able to have your email on hand. If not, what you're going to do is call Apple directly at 1-800-692-7753. So you will call them if you, for the life of you, cannot remember or don't know what email address that is that is associated with your name. All right, but say you do kind of punch all this information in and you get the correct email address. Great. What you're going to do is you're going to enter in that email address. And then click next and it's going to prompt you for your password. All right, let's assume that you don't know your password or you forgot your password and that's why you need to recover your email or recover your account. So you're going to go down to forgot Apple ID or password and it's going to prompt you again. So you're just going to enter in your email that we discovered or found. And it's going to prompt you to the number associated with your account. All right, so um, if you have a number associated with your account, which if you've created an account recently, it does kind of force you to have a, a phone number associated with your account. Um, you're going to punch it in here. Now, I understand. So what you might want to do is say, well, I don't have access to that phone anymore. Well, that's totally fine, because what we're going to do is even if you don't have access to it, punch in that phone number. and it's going to send a code. However, say you can't reach that code, then you're going to click can't use devices. All right, so you're going to click that again. And it's going to prompt you again. It's going to say you can still reset your password with a verification code sent to your trusted phone number. You only have one option, which click send code. And once again, you don't have access to this. So you're going to say didn't get code. And it's going to pull up three options. One says get another text one says get a phone call and one says can't use this number. Now what you're going to do is click can't use this number and then continue. Now what it's going to do now is say it's going to take you to the next step to continue to reset your um, Apple account and this is what you want if you have no idea how to reset your Apple ID or recover your Apple ID or password. So um, this is the next step in which you're going to click continue anyway because what this is warning you about is saying, once you click continue into resetting your Apple ID, it's going to essentially lock your account for the next three days. And so within that time, 
um, or after that period of time, Apple will be contacting you um, to through your email, specifically your Apple ID account, uh, to reset your password, to reset your account information. Now, you only want to click continue anyway if you absolutely have no other way to get into your account because once again, it's going to freeze your account for a number of days. Now, um, this once you click continue anyways, it's going to take you to a screen which will then uh, tell you all that information and say we will be contacting you with your information. So that is how you are able to recover your account from the step of not knowing your Apple ID or your email or not knowing your security questions. Um, and that's how you do it on MacBook. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed and this was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe.